Hi everybody, it's Wednesday and we're on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Jim Cramer to break down today's market action. All right, Jim, stocks not really doing much. We have a Fed meeting today. What do you no, think? I, look, I think people are in abeyance. They want to see what the Fed says. They understand that if your PPI number like we had today was very high, that it's entirely possible that maybe uh, Jay Powell says something like, look, we got to step up the uh, the process. And therefore, while the banks may like that, Goldman Sachs starting to move up. Why not? With this merger green light from, uh, from the judge in the ATT case, that's the stock to own. It's a double stock to own if, they, uh, if Jay Powell says that things are going to accelerate. The triple stock to own given the fact that seed car results are going to come out at the end of the month, and I think the stock is going to have a radically great second half. So, yes, a lot of line, uh, but we got to see what Powell says, so people are just waiting, waiting, waiting. Don't bite on the first trade. The first trade uh, is typically reversed within 20 minutes, so be careful. Whether it be up, it gets reversed, or down, it gets reversed, because the futures guys come in too heavily, too aggressively, and they get it wrong. And adding to the argument of a strong economy were those Caterpillar numbers this morning, especially yeah, in no, Latin America. You know, I, I, I thought Latin America was good, um, and you know they did 24%, people were looking for 28% worldwide. Uh, what I'm saying there was really just that the synchronized global expansion can still be on. Uh, I do like Caterpillar longer term, but just understand that there was no dramatic fall off uh, in, in relation to, say, the trade war fights that might have indicated that there would have been a dramatic fall off. So, so far, so good. Although interesting to see 40% interest rates in Argentina. <laughs> yeah, so. Ar Argentina is um, a disaster, which is a shame. At one point, it was the world's seventh largest economy. Thank you, Paul Singer, for giving me that data. The great L management uh, empresario who is one of our fantastic speakers and I urge people to get the transcripts of the uh, corporate governance conference because you'll learn a great deal and uh, you also need to go back over that conference because of Mr. Del Rahim who, uh, who lost so badly in the ATT uh, Time Warner verdict that came down last night. Yes and if people don't want to read uh, Judge Leon's 200 page ruling they can read your real money column this they, morning. They should read the ruling because the ruling is just blistering and uh, very condescending to Mr. Del Rahim. Yeah. Very kind. So what's the impact, though, on the media space from well, this? Well, you know, he's just basically, Del, Rah Del Rahim was saying that these, uh, uh, that don't worry about fame, what matters is just the core group of uh, TV stations. And uh, Judge Harris is saying, listen, uh, because of Facebook, because of uh, Google, uh, because of Netflix, even because of Hulu, these companies must merge. It's merge or die. And uh, it was a pretty bold uh, pro-merger uh, verdict of like, the likes of which I've never seen. And we're going to talk about what the ruling means for Comcast in our Action Alerts Plus yes. video after this, so please join us for that. Meanwhile, Jim, you had the CEO of Cisco on last night. They have a yeah, new partnership. Yeah, you just have to buy that stock. I mean, he sat down with Diane Green, one of my favorites. She, she runs Google Cloud. Uh, and Google Cloud is starting to really make a move. Um, they have been waiting and they're building an infrastructure. A lot of people feel like they're well behind Amazon. They're well behind Microsoft. Uh, Diane Green's plan, which is going to be aggressively in tandem with Cisco, could mean that they can turn on the jets. Uh, they will also be able to undercut, I think, in price uh, a lot of uh, of both Microsoft and Amazon, although Amazon is so inexpensive. Uh, so just let's stay focused on that. It's now a three a three horse race. Uh, a lot of people felt it become a two horse race with Google lagging behind. I felt very good about Google, one of our, the action alert names, and starting to think, all right, we got to put Cisco back in the bullpen. Mm. Been, it's just spending a lot of time at 43. Jim, who do you have coming up on Mad Money tonight? Gary Friedman, uh, Restoration Hardware, the stock. The market cap is too small. Uh, the market cap should be $5 billion, and that's what's going on with the stock. Uh, remarkable. He, he's, he pivoted and decided to go for earnings per share uh, with the club model, and it's been magnificent. And he made a killing. He bought the stock at what, less than 30 bucks? 27 Wow. And nice buy. Told everybody that he thought the stock was cheap. Um, not unlike what Steve Wynn did when Steve Wynn bought all that stock between 50 and 60 Got to pay attention to these CEOs who buy stock and then tell you, look, I'm buying stock because it's cheap. It, it, we profiled uh, Gary and Steve. Now Steve obviously stepped down, but uh, these two were really clarion calls to buy the stock. All right, Jim, we are 90 minutes away from your Action Alerts Plus call. People can still go to actionalertsplus.com and join the club. Yeah, I mean, I understand. Um, it's really important. The, these calls are def define what it means to be a club member. So. You, you should trial. I, look, I'm an unabashed hype artist here on this because I've spent the last three days working on the call. And th that's the only thing that I spend three days on. And I do it uh, once a month. And my wife always says, what are you doing? I said, I'm getting ready for the call because it's the most important thing I can do for club members. Uh, so if you're watching the video and you're not subscribing to the club, I don't get it. 
I don't get it. You're going to get your money's worth from my 11.30 call just today. There's so much this week. We need a deeper dive from you in You're all these topics. All right, Jim, we'll be looking forward to that. Thank you.